Treyarch. 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 DLC number two should be a stand-up and not a step-down. I'm just saying, guys. I'm just saying. Should be a step up, not a step down. Step down is what's gonna kill the game. Just saying. What is going on, YouTube? This is Red Horse Noggle. And I'm finally back after a week of no content. So I apologize, because life happened. Yeah, that's just my explanation. Life happened. Background's just some kill confirmed gameplay. Some, I think it's like a merciless streak. It's not some bad gameplay, but just enjoy it. It's there for your entertainment pleasure. Let's get straight into it. So I know I'm late on this, and I think I'm about like two weeks late on this. I was going to make a video last week about it, but stuff happened. But um, Two weeks ago, DLC 2 Eclipse was announced by Treyarch. We have four new multiplayer maps. We have one zombies net map. Setsu, I don't know how to pronounce that because I'm not Japanese. Setsubo Noshima, I think that's how it's called. Setsubo Noshima. And I really don't care about the multiplayer maps, in my opinion, because I don't think they'll be as great um, as, like, other maps in the past. Uh, and just, I don't think um, DLC maps are going to be good, in my opinion. Like, we have four maps. I don't ex I don't have high expectations for them. I'm just speculating, guys. Don't take this as, like, a review of whether um, you should buy this DLC or not. I'm going to do a video on that. Um, that's, that's for another video. Don't worry. I'm going to do a review on... Eclipse probably a week or two after because I actually want to spend time with the maps the zombies map And I'm not going to bring a, re a review like a day after or something like that So probably wait a week or two if you want to find out if Eclipse is worth buying for PlayStation 4 or if you're on Xbox or or if you're on Xbox um, just uh, Just wait it out I, I don't know why PlayStation has DLC first. I mean, it's cool, but I'm just saying we should all get DLC first because it'd be cool so not all of us would have to just wait a month early, wait a month after, wait three months if you're, if you're on, like, uh, last gen. I, I don't know. I really don't know, but that's just probably for another video. We're just going to talk about the multiplayer maps and the zombies map. And let's just get straight into the multiplayer map. So the first map we have is Spire, which is a futuristic space airport. From all the pictures and everything from the advertisements and all, it looks like Skyjacked, in my opinion. It looks like Skyjacked, and obviously Skyjacked... Well, this is my opinion. You don't have to agree with it. Skyjacked is not my favorite map in the game. I hate Skyjacked. Spawns are broken. Blah, 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 blah. Obvious, obvious, obvious stuff. But yeah, I don't think Spire is going to be as bad as Skyjacked. I don't think anything is as bad as Skyjacked. But yeah, Spire looks okay. It's good. I feel like it's going to be one of those like three-lane maps that's not going to be like big or anything. So Spire will probably be maybe the least favorite map. I don't know. This is all speculation. Remember, I'm not. This is not a full-on review. But yeah, I think Spire is going to be maybe not a memorable map but it'll be a decent map in the um in the uh eclipse dlc but yeah that's my opinion next up we have rift which is basically a futuristic military complex on a volcano my opinion this the description sounds cool and i've seen all the pictures and everything for um rift and rift might actually be one of my favorite maps because rift seems like a pretty cool theme you know with the volcano and all like, we have something similar to that in Ghost. I can't remember what the map was called, but it was like some sort of pyramid. We were close to a volcano. If somebody, somebody maybe somebody might um, put the map, uh, the name of the map in the comments section. But I know there was like one map in Ghost that was part of DLC, I think, 2, which was Devastation. I can't remember the map, though. But it, it, I think it'll be similar. But yeah, I'm really liking the idea of Rift with some... Um, um, I, I, I always like those type of maps that have like a cool theme to them like you know with the volcano and everything well except for splash splash was just a goofy idea that just didn't go so well let's just say but that's my opinion I some people like splash I don't like splash personally it feels like a stone haven it's I feel like splash is the stone haven of this game it's one of the worst maps I've ever played on in this game I'd rather play on 
what, what's a what's a bad map? I'd rather play on Exodus or Nuketown than Splash, cause Splash is that bad. But we're not talking about DLC one. We're talking about DLC two. I gotta start. I gotta start getting on topic. But let's just move on to the next map, which is Knockout, which is a temple recreation on a private island. And I did see some promotional pictures, and the map looks gorgeous. Um. We had something like that before. Hmm. Splash. Gorgeous map, but just didn't play well. So, I don't know. Knockout might be a good map. Knockout might be a bad map. It might be a decent map. It might be this map. It might be your map. I don't know. But, Knockout, is, I think, will be a decent map. I mean, I saw the pictures and everything. I saw that, like, that ring. I, uh, I think that ring is, pretty cool. is a pretty cool addition to the map. You know, it gives it a good feel. So, yeah, I think Knockout is going to be a pretty decent map i think most of these maps will be decent if the maps are worse than dlc one I, I i don't know anymore i don't know anymore what's going on with Treyarch of the studio man but but let's just not talk about what's going on at Treyarch. we got to stay on topic guys but the next map we have is a remake from bonsai from world at war which but it's called verge uh, personally, I never played World at War, so I don't know what Bonsai is. I don't know how it plays. I don't know how the, how the movement will work. So I don't know what to say about Bonsai. I'll have to look up some gameplay, see how the map looks, see how the map plays. So yeah, I think Verge. Um, I th um, personally, map remakes sometimes don't work. Sometimes they do work, but personally, the map remakes in Black Ops 3 have not worked. So I'm predicting maybe Verge might not be that good. I'm not saying it'll be terrible. I'm just saying it won't be good, but it'll be okay. But last but not least, we have the zombies map, Setsubo no Shima. And I did see the, the zombies trailer yesterday. Well, yesterday because I'm uploading this on Wednesday, so the trailer came out on Tuesday. But this, by the time this will upload, it might be on Wednesday or Thursday. So I'm just going to, and I'm recording this on Wednesday. So I saw it on Tuesday, and I got to say, wow, we're in for a treat for Setsubo no Shima. Um,. I, I just have some things that I wonder, um, like, will swimming work in zombies, um, and with all, like, the teleportation, well, not the teleportation, but just, like, ways to get around the map, but, you know, with sliding and jumping, I don't know, but the traps look pr pretty cool, especially with the plane and everything, and also, what I found interesting was we saw DLC weapons, um, in the gameplay trailer, like we saw DLC weapons, we saw the Marshall, we saw the MP40, we saw the MP40, we saw the MX Grand. I'm just wondering, will they be available by default in the map, or do you have to own the weapons? I heard that you have to own the weapons first, and then you can use them in zombies, which I think it's just a stupid concept. But I think it's the concept that Treyarch will go, because I guess they're that stupid. But I don't know. I think that Sasubo Noshima will be a great map. You know, the maps have been delivering lately for zombies maps. We have Eyes and Draw, great map. Shadows of Evil, okay map. The giant, it, it's Darice. It's, it's how you gotta go. How you gotta say Darice is bad. Um, yeah, that's about it. But yeah, I think um, Sasubo Noshima might be a good map, and especially with like the boss with. I don't know if it's an ogre, I don't know if it's a monster, a swamp monster, I don't know what that thing is, but all I'm saying is that thing might be hard to kill, it might be like the Margwa from Shadows of Evil, hopefully it's not annoying, but yeah, I think Setsubo no Shima will be a fun map, I'll I'll be playing to play with Roaring Games and everything, and also guys, I forgot to mention, I'll, I might, I will see if I can try to do a huge live stream on Tuesday, with the DLC, with the Roaring Games, and some other friends. I don't know. But, yeah. That's my opinion on uh, Eclipse, um, the second DLC for Black Ops 3 so far. This isn't a full-on review. Remember, guys. But, yeah. I think um, DLC 2 will be a decent DLC. It won't be the best DLC out there. I think it'll just be a decent DLC. But, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment down below what you think of Eclipse and whether it be good or bad. I don't know. Leave it in the comment section below. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just stuttering all the time. But hopefully you enjoyed. And I will see you guys later. This is Red Horse Uncle. Good night, guys.